is so it's fixed units with you in this repair we have our xbox one with the error e102 and we will see how we're gonna fix it to prepare the, the hard drive for the xbox one we're gonna need uh, basically two files uh, this file here the name of which is a xbox one hdd master e and uh, the system you can download it from microsoft and i'm gonna add uh, the links in the description so we're gonna try to make it uh, more simple to download the offline uh, update you're gonna need to go search for the osu1 on google click download and follow the steps or go direct to the microsoft website click the xbox click update and click that you have a trouble on uh, you have problem doing the update and it's going to take you to the screen so in this case i have this xbox so the xbox turning on and here is telling you that uh, you're going to need the computer usb and all the stuff so we're going to click to the os u1 and it's uh, going to start download so downloading uh, from the microsoft website is kind of slow so give it a time till it's uh, done and uh, we'll go to the next uh, step so we'll go to the file and i'm gonna extract it to the desktop so you can use any uh, program as a winrar or a winzip it's the folder and i'm using the windows of course and here just right click and copy the address go to the cmd run as administrator and write cd paste and the address for uh, where the program to uh, to make the hard drive ready so click enter and now we are in the in the windows folder we're gonna write create xbox drive here and we got this screen so we click enter so my external hard drive the one that i'm gonna use for uh, for the xbox is a 500 as well if you want to upgrade your hard drive you do the same way so you're gonna use a bigger size so here we're gonna select the replacing or upgrading the the hard drive without uh, the original uh, drive so we're going to pick the, the A. So here uh, in my computer, it show like two discs uh, connected. One is a 250 and one is a 500. So the disc zero is a 250 and the disc one is a 500. And I know, and you need to be sure that the disc that you're going to select is not the disc where you installed the windows or any uh, important data. Because the, the script is going to format uh, the hard drive so i'm gonna select the disk uh, one so that's the disk i want to uh, to install on the xbox so the system is uh, gonna check if there is a partition c because most of us we have the windows installed in the partition c so here it shows that there is uh, no partition c in this drive and i will click yes and here is going to ask uh, like what kind of the the hard drive what size so i know it's a 500 and you're going to get all these pop-up screens because the new partitions is uh, created So you're gonna need to wait.
and here this is the the partitions this one's not this uh, the two tabs is the other uh, the my computer drive and this these five partitions here plus this empty one is the the xbox one drive so this system is going to start for manning the, the partitions for the xbox one by one and here i can uh, check the partitions And you can see the partitions here, the disk one. We have all these partitions. So five of them is created and formatted. And uh, the sixth partition is created, but it's not gonna be formatted. It just is gonna stay like that. So just don't make no change here. It's all automatic. So after I did the hard drive partitions, I connect the, the Xbox, power on the Xbox, and it will uh, give us an uh, error, because there is no files, no system files in the, in the system, on the hard drive, that's the error. And I'm going to connect the controller to the Give me one moment. So I connect the controller and they switch to the troubleshooting. Pick the reset this Xbox and pick uh, remove everything. So the Xbox is going to restart. the moment I done uh, download in the, the system offline update from the Microsoft and I'm gonna transfer it to the USB The flash drive it should be formatted as for NTFS, not FAT32. And we'll click start. So here, if you follow the steps that the Microsoft uh, D set is uh, clear. So we are ready to uh, extract the, the zip file to over there, OSU1. So we're going to open this one and we have that, uh, that's the folder the Microsoft set. And we need to uh, save it in the, in the flash drive. So I'm gonna go to the flash drive here and I just say drag the so that's how you make uh, the flash drive offline update ready for uh, the system so we just we will give it a moment till is uh, done so here I select the offline update and the system is installing the app. So far, everything going good. Installing the new, uh, <coughs> installing the new system, operation system, and the new hard drive is going good. So we are in the last uh, step. And uh, just we'll wait for the Xbox to restart and uh, show the home screen. And uh, step three, 
the screen is going to flicker a couple times you're going to see no signal but don't disconnect the, the Xbox just uh, give it a time and let the update uh, finish so if it's ask you for the update just uh, click to update it and may give you this uh, this screen it said uh, the Xbox it doesn't need no update so save the time and here Yeah, now the Xbox just have to finish the setup as a new Xbox and that's it. That's, uh, that's all.